third Albuquerque police officer wounded in a shooting has been released from the hospital. And today, police honored the people who helped to keep him alive. This 20-year-old inspiring police officer helped save the life of this veteran cop. I'm sure anyone would do that for their best friend. Police service aide Jacqueline hernandez Arate was nearby when shots were being fired last week at four officers trying to arrest an armed robbery suspect just outside this coffee shop. She saw Officer James Eichel with a gunshot wound to his arm. Jackie provided the use of a tourniquet that day in saving uh, this officer's life. It was perfect. She had recently been trained on how to use one. So I went through a tactical emergency combat training class, and they taught us more how to use. I knew how to apply a tourniquet, but I got to learn how to use chest seals, and I knew what to do during a mass shooting. Thanks to her, this was the scene at University of New Mexico Hospital today, as Officer Eichel was being released six days after he was shot. Officer down. Officer down. That's the voice of this man. He was sitting at home when he heard gunshots. Uh, in that moment, it was uh, kind of surreal. It was, it was, I, I couldn't believe it. It was going on right there. He jumped over the wall and went to help Officer Mario Verbeck and saw his radio. There was a radio on the floor uh, that I seen there, so I grabbed that. And uh, that's, when I, that's when I called out. So He got on the radio and told other officers where Verbeck was. Behind the big old... He's right. He's right back. He's being credited for saving Officer Verbeck, who was shot in the neck while he was with Officer Eichel. Verbeck is still being treated in the hospital. Of the four officers injured in last week's shooting, only one Officer Verbeck remains in the hospital.